y'all good morning guys welcome back to the channel my name is tina if you don't already know and i'm so glad you're here we are starting off the vlog with heading out once again with my lord he is just loving spending time with us i guess because he keeps asking us to go with him and so i have on my little outfit for the day nothing crazy i'm just relaxed you know Chill vibes. I was in the car with me. I just came in here to get my water bottle and I will check with you guys here soon. Hey y'all. We're done with what we need to do today. We're in the car right now. We're in front of Jamaican cook shop out here in Mesquite. And y'all, this food is so good. It is so good. My Lord got some curry chicken and some rice and peas and then i got or not i specifically but he also got some jamaican jerk chicken which is obviously more spicy and then the kids are eating the curry and so they were out of the cocoa bread and so he went in there to get some because we saw oh you want more let me pull you want a little bit more Huh? I just want the rice. Just rice? Okay. They were out of the cocoa bread. And so he went in there to go get some because he saw them bringing it in. So we're just eating before we hit the road because we are hungry. Have a napkin. A napkin? You said what then? You sneeze? Okay. It has a little bit of spice to it, so you sneezing. But if you guys have never had, um, if you never had this Jamaican spot, you have to have it. You have to try it one time in your life. If you that live shows. in the Dallas, yes. If you live in the Dallas area, you need some cabbage. Oh yes, sir. It's cool. a little spicy this is how though. Bingy like their food. Yeah, this is how bingy. Bingy knows how to throw down. Okay. Because this food is so good make some good like rice and peas i made it when we were out in the cabin during our cabin trip i don't know did i show you i don't think i did but i uh i did cook some rice and peas and my lord really liked it a lot and that says a lot because he's very particular about yes about his food this is the cocoa bread oh okay that's so good spicy <laughs> That's good. No carbs. You're not supposed to be having no carbs. This is chock no carbs. full of it's full of carbs. But we're gonna finish eating our food, and we might as well check with you guys later. Okay, we're back on our side of town. Our place is on the side, back on our side of town. Morning we had. This morning we got an Instacart order. I got some stuff from Sam's, and it's. And I got maybe almost 30 minute drive so normally I just Instacart that because I don't feel like driving all the time to go get it and so did that uh, and then I forgot some stuff or not necessarily forgot some stuff but some stuff I don't need in bulk and so I did I just went to HEB and got our pickup order real quickly and then I dropped off some stuff at Amazon for Amazon to get returned and for Shein one of them I think I told you guys the zipper was broken and then the other dress had like a small stain on it and then I returned a head wrap it was just a little too vibrant for me too colorful so I'm returning that head wrap and everything else was okay I didn't really order a lot to be honest I'm silver chosen she probably got more stuff than I did anyway we're almost home we're literally down the street and then we're going to just get ready for our Sabbath. Got that bomb Jamaican food, but you know, that was earlier, a little bit earlier. It's, it's 4.45 now, almost five o'clock. And so dinner is gonna have to get cooked here soon. The sun goes down a lot earlier than it did a couple weeks ago. It goes down to like eight, really like eight o'clock now. So I'm gonna have to get in the kitchen and start cooking. My lord said he wanted some blackened salmon, some blackened fish with um, that cream sauce, some like you know that heavy cream sauce that goes on top, and he also wanted dirty rice. So 
We just had rice. I'm gonna see if he still wants the rice because we literally just had rice. I'm gonna see if he still wants the rice and he might not. He might want something different because that's too many that's too much carbs for him. So we'll see. They're gonna get the groceries out for me and then we're gonna go ahead and just get ready for Sabbath. Hope you guys have had a very good Friday. It is the start of the vlog and um, tomorrow is Sabbath, so there'll be no recording tomorrow. And then Sunday, I think we do have some stuff planned. I can't think off the top of my head. But if we don't have anything planned, we're gonna make something. We're gonna do something. We're gonna get, we're gonna do like some tabernacle prepping. We're gonna be doing something on Sunday. We're, yeah, we're gonna be productive. But anyways, I'm pulling into the house now. Catch you guys here very soon. Yo. Zuri. Yo. Listen. Uh. Look, been in for a little bit, granted since a little kid. Ain't afraid to take a risk, my life was a hit and miss. Was the guy to take the mic, but then I didn't. Yeah. Go oh, happy. Yo. What's today? Today is Wednesday. Happy oh Wednesday. God. We're right now, we just put up to the fire station out here in Grand Prairie, Texas. We're gonna be doing a homeschool field trip with the kids. We got here early to make sure we were on time. You know, we wanna make sure we're decent and in order. And I have a special guest with me today too. My Lord is here. Oh, one of the fire trucks just pulled back in. No, that is the Oh, <laughs> that's how much I know. So we have these, these are little papers. Don't mind my nails missing because I'm taking them off, but these are the paperwork for them to be able to do. And then that's the scavenger hunt. And then this is the other little paper where it talks about what they learned. So our field trip, where we went, list of things I saw, something I learned, and then my favorite part. And so hopefully they can. I got done this call. Okay. My Lord has to go to meeting, so I'll be quiet. It's truly a blessing when you think about it to be able to homeschool your children. I was taught that, you know, going to a school system was the best type of education you can receive, but I'm slowly learning to unlearn those ways and understand that homeschooling your children is the best route, especially when you are a mother who is able to stay at home with their kids. I definitely recommend homeschooling. What phone number do you call to get the fire truck to show up to your house? 911. 911, my man. That's a speed bump. We'll roll that out. All right, guys, let me get all my stuff out. I'll show you what. Dress fast, and in a minute, we're going to get some guys to show you how fast they can get dressed, okay? Of course, we got the helmet. Everybody got your things? I know that's on there. Yeah. It goes even into the Bible when it talks about the mother in 2nd Maccabees who endured the troubles of education. It's not going to be easy and it's not going to be always fun. However, you do have to endure just as the Bible says. And you can see the fruits of our labor on our children's faces, especially when we do these homeschooling outings. They're so happy. They're so involved. They're learning. They're flourishing. They're growing together. And it's a beautiful thing to see. You got, you got jaws alive? They get dressed. They get dressed. And then they get in and they, we drive real fast to the fires. Right here is where the boss man arrives. He's got a computer. Tells, him, tells us where to go, what's going on, uh, who we have to help. So on the way to a fire, these guys have a minute and 20 seconds. To get all this stuff on. Go! 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 reads 2 Maccabees 7 and 27 but she bowing herself toward him laughing the cruel tyrant to scorn 
spake in her country language on this manner, O oh my son, have pity upon me that bare thee nine months in my womb, and gave thee such three years, and nourished thee, and brought thee up unto this age, and endured the troubles of education. This mother was speaking directly to her son during this time, just reminding him of how much she honestly loved him. She told him that I carried you in my womb for nine months. I nourished you, taught you what I could in these three years that you've been on this earth. And the most important thing of what she said is that she endured the troubles of education. It wasn't just education in regards to what we think of, but it was education in regards to the Bible as well. These laws, statutes, and commandments. And just like that mother, I'm going to continue to endure. I'm going to continue to endure the troubles of education with my three sons and my daughter and teach them how important they are and who they are and whose they are. Try to stay groomed, but my mind got stains. Time flying by, so there's no time to waste. No time to waste, as a man, I've got a hustle. See some old habits trying to get me up in trouble. Took to war with my hands so he could hold a knuckle. Took what's ours, now we coming back for double. Book me a flag when I need me a change. Do it for the Lord and myself to stay sane. To enter the gates, I can't lie, that's my aim. If I ever leave the truth, man, I swear I'm insane. Uh. Uh. Said if I ever leave the truth, then I've gone insane. Look, I don't think you don't heard me still. Yo, said if I ever leave the truth, then I've gone insane. Half up in the middle. You saw the fire, the ladder, the mass. Middle. I hope you guys enjoyed our vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed just spending a little bit of time with us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in our next one. Shalom.